Hi, everybody. This is Viji Vardarajan again. And I'm here with another rasam dish, which is very easy to do. Once you have the tuar dal soaked and cooked, pre-cooked and kept, you can make this rasam in just five minutes, not more than that, as long as the tomato becomes soft. So let me start off by doing the lime rasam. It's not lemon, but lime, because generally in India, we get more lime than lemon, but you can also make with lemon. This rasam is very tasty and tangy because we add even tomatoes to make it just the right consistency. So let me show you how we do this. Let me add and season the mustard seed already before I start everything because it can be done in a jiffy. I will add the tuar dal in the end because I'm doing it in just this pan. So this rasam has green chilies, a little cut ginger, tomatoes cut into halves, large pieces. In the end, you garnish with coriander leaves after adding the tuar dal and allowing it to boil. And when you take it down, you add the lime juice. Okay, it's done. It is very tasty. You add a little hing, salt, and turmeric powder to the whole thing. To this rasam, you can also add pineapple pieces instead of tomatoes and call it pineapple rasam. It tastes very good. The same method, but add pineapple instead of tomatoes. At this stage, I add water, not the green chilies, because if I stir the green chilies in oil, it might get more spicy. So the water neutralizes the spiciness. And in the water goes the tomatoes, the green chilies, the ginger, and the turmeric powder. It's as easy as that. A little salt, a little hing, and we will allow this to boil on a medium flame till we'll keep it closed till we we are sure that the tomatoes are cooked this would take just about five minutes so i'm opening it this is cooked i want it to stay whole at this stage i'm going to add in this cooked tuar dal this is pre-cooked you can always pre-cook and keep it in the fridge frozen take it out defrost it and use it it stays well over a week you don't have to worry here you go this rasam is done so i will be adding a little coriander leaves as a garnish and of course i'll add the lime juice in the end it's always nice to use something lemony right at the end because you don't want it to be bitter sometimes it can turn bitter if you keep heating it again and again with the lime juice I'll garnish it with this and uh, this looks so colorful and so beautiful and it tastes very good too. I'm not going to be adding more than is needed. I'm actually going to taste it first and then I will add more if need be. Mm, it's good. I'll leave it at this. I can add a little water also because after all it's a potage it's like a broth so it's not a very thick one rasams are never thick it doesn't have a lot of thick gravy it's always thin with very little tuar dal so this dish is done try this at home isn't it easy it is extremely easy i didn't know anything about cooking in my days when i got married and I was a little intimidated when I saw so many dishes being prepared in my mother-in-law's house. But she was patient enough to teach me everything, step by step, dish after dish. And here I am showing all my 
experiences in front of you. So try it. And then if you have any doubts, please come back to me and I'm there to answer anything you want. Till then, this is Vijay Varadarajan signing off until we meet again the next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.